Hey guys, it's eight o'clock and it's Super Bowl and the Eagles are like seconds away from scoring. So I don't know if you guys are gonna jump on here or not jump on here, but I do know that Super Bowl halftime is getting ready to start with Justin Timberlake. So, um, oh, I'm gonna have a little competition. Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Oh, you guys are here. Oh, that's good. Hey, Jess, how are you? Hey, Dawn. Um, okay, so yeah, the Eagles are getting ready. I think they're gonna score. This is gonna uh, actually I don't really watch football But my son's so excited that he's got me like ridiculously excited. Hi D. Hi Patty Okay, so um, hi Rose. So let all right. Hi Misty. How are you? So here we go All right, so you guys know that I um, did a tutorial earlier today on the neck and um, in case you didn't get a chance to see it because I don't normally do tutorials on Sundays during the day. Hi, Annie. Hi, just, oh my gosh, you guys are here. You're not football fanatics. That's so fantastic. Um, but I am a Justin Timberlake fan, so I'll catch part of that. But anyway, um, I am going to do that tutorial again um, about how to contour that neck and how to make that neck look really smooth. And oh, yes, Brandy, you like the new Hydrolux eyeliners? Yay! That's a touchdown for me. I scored. I don't even need the extra point for that. Um, oh, I'm so happy. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Okay, so let's, I wanted to talk to you about how to make your neck look younger. Um, it is a telltale sign of aging. It is a bugger. And like I said earlier, you know how Shakira said the hips don't lie? Well, you, we all know that that neck don't lie either. It doesn't. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Carolyn. I know, Justin Timberlake, right? There's something about him that I just adore. I think that from a very young age, I mean, he is a young pop star that has been in the public eye for all of his life and you just don't see crap about him right like he's kept it together he's a dad now and I, I don't know I just I just kind of admire that plus he's talented as heck I did have a chance to see him live a couple years back in um, Philadelphia and he is quite the performer anyway okay so let's let's do this uh, neck tutorial and let's talk about those couple things, I'll try to keep it a little short, and then we'll talk about the giveaway, and um, I'll let you guys go back to watching the Super Bowl, and watching the Super Bowl commercials, and eating cheese dogs, and pizza, and um, cheese curls, and nachos with cheese, like anything um, that is got cheese on it, I love. Okay, so... So, the neck. All right, let's talk about that. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? So, let's talk about that neck. That neck is a bugger, right? It's just a bugger. It's just like something that is, um, I know for me personally, it is something that I struggle with. And the reason why I struggle with it is that um, I had neck surgery. I had my thyroid removed. I had um, a rare form of thyroid cancer. And I had to have my thyroid removed. So, typically, when you... Um, your thyroid is like this tissue mass right through here, right? And when I had mine removed, it kind of sunk in and it's left me with like gobble gobble here, right? But I'm also 55 years old and it's left me with gobble gobble here. So the dreaded turtleneck. Uh, did the Eagles score? Did they score? I don't hear anyone yelling. <laughs> so good. Okay, that's great. Uh, I'm so glad that they scored. All right, anyway. So let's talk about things that we can do with the neck that is, you know, exercise related, skincare related, and um, contour related. And these are all really great things. Yes, they scored. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad that they scored. You guys can keep me up to date on that. And I will try to make this kind of quick because you can also jump back. Hi, Tracy. How are you? You can jump back and watch the full-fledged tutorial that I did at noontime today. All right. So... The number one thing that we do, um, yeah, Eagles, right, Barbara? The number one thing that we do as women, I don't know if you do it, but I know that I do it, and I am notorious for for not paying attention to it and getting out the door. Um, oh, and the kick was good. They're not doing good with that kick and that conversion, so bad on those Eagles tonight. It could come down to a couple points, so they need to make every point count, just like we need to make every point on this count, right? Okay, so... What do we do? This is what we do. First of all, when we are washing our face, we have to make sure that we wash our neck, right? We have to wash that. And secondly, what we want to do is we exfoliate. We know that exfoliation is the key to youthful skin. And you want to know why it is the key to youthful skin? Because 
As we age, our cellular turnover starts to change. The amount of times that our skin cells renew starts to slow down, and that's how we get um, free radical damage and all of this other crazy stuff, right? So we want these smooth, fresh baby skin cells. So guess what? Guess what this is? Gobble, gobble. This is skin. So what do we want to do? Um, who is this? I don't have my glasses on. Hi, Lori. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Annie. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to take that exfoliation all the way down our neck. So as many times as you exfoliate, hi Maria, as many times as we exfoliate our face, that's how many times we wanna exfoliate our neck, right? We want that dead skin cell, get that crap off of there too. We don't want that bad boy, we want it gone, 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 gone. Ah. Gone, out of there. Hi, Ida. So we're gonna exfoliate once or twice a week as many times as you do your face, you should exfoliate. Honestly, you should exfoliate once a week. Okay, definitely, definitely once a week if you want fresher looking skincare. Um, face palette, face palette, Jess. Um, the Dalton face palette is the blush that I have on tonight and the highlighter. Um, okay, so the number one thing when we want to do is exfoliate that neck. Like I said, once a week for exfoliation. Um, twice a week is even better. Now I'm going to tell you a little trick that I do with exfoliation and you guys are going to laugh, but I do use a, uh, an exfoliator. Dr. D has an amazing, amazing, amazing um, exfoliator, but I also shave my face once a week. I know I don't shave my neck, but I do shave my face and I shave my face because that's a mechanical form of exfoliation. I just use a razor and I shave my face and one of the reasons that I do that is that my foundation goes on better. So it exfoliates, it renews my skin cells a little bit quicker and there's my mom mom are you watching the Eagles I know my mom's a Steelers fan but she's in the chat and she's got to be rooting for the Eagles because it's Pennsylvania right right mom thumbs up for the Eagles okay so um Anyway, um, so that's what we do. So that's what I do. I, I do shave my face once a week. I know it sounds weird. People go, what? But I do. I use just a, a man's razor. I use a big razor and I shave it and I get all those little hairs off and exfoliates the skin and it keeps my, fret, my face young and perfect, okay? <clears throat> well, as perfect as it can be, right? Okay, I don't shave my neck because we don't get hairy necks, okay? I don't shave my neck, but I do exfoliate my neck once a week, minimum, minimum. If I'm fully exfoliating my face twice a week, I take that exfoliation and I take it down the neck. Okay. So the second thing, um, I didn't watch the kitten bowl, mom. I missed it. I, um, I, you guys are going to laugh. Okay. This is the no judgment zone, right? This is the no judgment zone. You cannot judge me because I love you guys. Don't be throwing any shade because I'm going to show you how to use that shade in a minute. I took my Christmas tree down. <laughs> Did. I took my Christmas tree down this afternoon. It was deader than a doornail, and there's more pine needles in here. I'll be vacuuming those suckers up until next 4th of July. But um, yeah, that's what I did. It had to come down. So, okay, anyway, <laughs> before people are going to be like, Dosh, you are crazy. Okay, so we've exfoliated our neck. The second thing that we can do um, twice a week is we can massage that neck area, right? Because what does massage you get like a great oil dr dinesse has like this amazing oil that one oil that she has i forget how many different types of oils that has in it but it's super super amazing and um no carolyn it's that's a myth um your hair does not come in thicker or darker when you shave it it's still it's a different hair than you think about than what's on your legs that's what's on your face this kind of like baby thin hair it when it comes back it's the same texture as your baby thin hair so don't worry you're not going to get a beard okay you're not going to get a beard so um that's just an old fallacy um okay so the second thing that we want to do is we want to massage this area okay and when we massage it we're going to massage in upward motions and you can do this while you're watching tv you can do this you know um why you're just, oh, it's lipid oil infusion. Thank you. So it's the lipid oil infusion. Thank you, Jess. So what you want to do is you want to massage it. And why massage is so important is because it stimulates blood flow. It stimulates cellular renewal. It stimulates circulation. And it also stimulates collagen production. So these are all really important for really healthy looking skin. Okay, so when you're sitting there, you know, you're watching TV, you know, this is us, Super Bowl, Justin. In, you're gonna you're gonna stimulate it okay not a lot 
twice a week is fine. If you want to do it more, it's even better. The more you do that, the better. All right. So the third thing that you want to do when we're talking about neck and taking care of our necks and what we can do to make them look younger, other than just makeup stuff, okay, is a really good neck cream. A neck cream that is a cream that's made specifically for the neck. And I'm going to tell you why you want a cream that's made specifically for the neck. Because your neck skin is different. It's thinner, there's no bony structure to hang on to it. Gravity really plays on it, it plays on these muscles. We don't really work it out. Another thing that we really do a lot when we're on our phone, we're on our tablets, that's accelerating that aging process on the neck is we're doing this, okay? And by bending that head down forward, it's creating that, who is that? Hi, Sarah. Um, who is that? Hi, Joan. Okay. Hi, Donna. So that's what happened. So, so we want to listen to what my mom who's in the chat would say, Doris, sit up straight, put your shoulders back, head up. There's some really good old truth to that stuff. You want to know why it keeps us erect. When you do this, it's bad on the neck. Okay. It causes a lot of creasing and a lot of wrinkling. So listen to your mama. Sit up straight, put your head up straight like this, okay? Perfect. Now, third thing, let's talk about cream. Okay, um, hi, uh, I'm, I'm trying to look. I don't have my glasses on because I'm doing, like, doing this neck thing. I think that's a, it's a, a Lisa? A, hi, Lisa, how are you? Okay, so what you want to do is a really great neck cream. Now, you guys know that I've told you many, many times um, what type of neck cream that I use. I use Dr. Danessa's MD33 um, neck cream. So this is my own. <laughs> you can see that I do use this, and I have backup. So that is, that is mine. And I love this neck cream for a couple of reasons. One, it's like super, super, super emollient, like my mom's chiming in there. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Um, it's and beautiful too, by the way. She is. Um, and she has better skin care than I do. I should listen to my mom a little bit more often. But what I love about this cream is that it's super, super emollient. Okay. And, but it dries really quick, quickly. And I love that because I don't like, you know, I want to get out the door and I don't want it to be greasy and I don't want it to be gross. Okay. I want to be able to put my, my shirt on, my t-shirts, whatever, my sweatshirt and get out the door. So, okay, I use that MD33 there, Barbara. That's when, I, oh, it is the best cream. I know, I use it all the time. So what I do with it, though, which is interesting because it, it benefits both of them, I take my fingers like this, and I, I rub it on my fingers like that so it gets, like, nice and warmed up. Hello from California, Sandy. I hope you're having better weather than we are because it is rainy and it is cold and it's gross, okay? It really is. But anyway, so I take my hands like this, and then what I do in an upward motion, just like this, I go ahead and I apply that skincare cream, just like this. Now, really important, okay, your neck isn't just here. Even though this is where we see the signs of aging, know that um, your, your neck goes all the way back through here, okay? So we want to take that skin cream all the way back upward motions, not down, don't do down, we don't want to do down, you want to know why we don't want to do down, because that's going to pull it down, and we want it to look big, and up, and healthy, right, so, okay, so I've done that, I go ahead, and I massage that in, and it looks, and it feels amazing, okay, I'm also going to take that neck cream, down into my decollete area, you want to know why I'm going to take it down into my decollete area, this is a part of my neck, okay, this guy is thin-skinned, and guess what, she ages too. And also another thing, you want to keep this really hydrated and moisturized. And I'm going to tell you another reason why you want to. When you lay on your side, most of us are side sleepers and we go to sleep and our boobs squish together. That creates an old accordion chest. And we don't want an old accordion chest. We want to look young and sexy and pretty, right? Is We're going to fight it at as long as we can. All right, so that's what we're going to do with the skincare. So pretty easy. We're going to exfoliate, we're going to massage, and we're going to do really great neck cream. So it's pretty easy. It's nothing like extra, like really strenuous that I'm asking you to do. I'm just telling you that um, it's a couple little steps that are going to make a really big world of difference. Okay, now, so that's our skincare routine. Another thing, 
Really, you can take some vitamin C supplements, stuff that's high in omega fatty acids. These are all really good for your skin, really good for cellular renewal, really good for collagen production. So these are really important things that you can do too, which are just great for skin, but guess what? Our neck is skin, all right? Remember we said, neck don't lie, it's really good for skin. Okay, now, here let's go on to a really quick, easy, silly little thing that you can do. Hi, Renee. Um, yeah, you're young, sexy, and beautiful. My, that's my mom said that. Of course she's going to say that because I'm her daughter. I'm her favorite daughter. No, not really. <laughs> she loves us all the same. But, okay, we're going to do a little quick exercise. We brush our teeth twice a day. We're going to exercise our neck twice a day. If you can do this twice a day, and it's only five times you have to do it, it's literally under, like, you could probably do it in 35 seconds, okay? What you're going to do is this, um, <coughs> excuse me, a yogi pose, okay? I know that giveaway is insane. Some of the girls don't know what it's about. So you can tell, like, I'm super excited tonight, right? Like, almost, like, giddy, goofy. It is because of the giveaway. It's amazing. I'm so excited about it. All right, ready? Let's talk about our exercises. So what you're going to do, you brush your teeth twice a day, all right? We're going to do these exercises twice a day. I don't care if you're doing them. Um, you know, at your desk, you know, at home, while you're drinking your coffee, whatever, just do them and you will instantly start to notice a difference because it's really hard to work out these muscles. There's no barbells for these muscles. It's really hard and we need, you know why we want firm muscles on our neck? Because when those muscles get built up a little bit, they fill the skin out. So that's why we really want to firm these muscles up and kind of build them up, much like we would our biceps that would like fill out our shirts, you know, and make them look nice and toned. The same thing is gonna, hi Brenda, the same thing is going to happen um, with, with your neck. So here they are. So you're gonna take your arms and you're gonna put, lock, lock them behind your back, okay? Down towards your buttocks and lock them toward your back. And what we're gonna do is called kiss the sky. Okay, so we're gonna kiss the sky. So we're gonna put our head back like this. We're gonna close our, our eyes. We're gonna close our mouth like this. And we're gonna do a kiss, ready? Like that, and then come forward. And then we're gonna do it again. You'll feel that stretch. You'll feel that burn in the neck. Only five times. Five times in the morning, five times at night, and you will start to see a firmer, firmer neck. Do not do that while you're driving. That is correct, Mom. You're a bad, bad, bad girl. Okay. So, now, let's talk about, we did that. We did our exercises. We're eating good. You know, listen, I'm going to throw a little pizza in there because that's, that's what I had tonight for dinner. Mm -hmm. And we got our skincare. So, let's talk about some makeup that we can do. We can talk about some really cute, cool, easy makeup things that we can do to disguise an aging neck. All right? That's what we want to do, just disguise it. We want to just kind of make it go away. All right. So, what I'm going to do and yes I did get myself finally <laughs> hi Brian um, I finally hey Renee hi Terry um, I got myself a new contour palette because the other one had holes in it it was hitting pan it wasn't good so I got myself a new contour palette all right so really easy and let me tell you a couple things about contour which is something that maybe you know or maybe you don't know all right so contour colors all right People a lot of times will say, well, I have a bronzer. I'm just going to use a bronzer down my neck. And if that's all you have for now, play with it and it's okay and you can do that. But bronzers are meant to bring warmth to the skin. They bring all of our warmth and glow to the skin. A contour powder has a gray base to it. I mean, it's not like it's a solid gray that you're putting on there. Uh-oh. I seen somebody just pop up in this chat and it might be Scott Grimes from John Hardy that is part of this big, huge giveaway tonight. It very well could be him in his chat. He told me he was going to put Olive to bed. You know I'm her fairy makeup godmother. Okay, his Olive. So he's in here. So everybody shout out to It's under John Hardy, but it's really Scott. That's his company's name. All right. So anyway, um, in a contour, the colors with the contour are gray undertone. And I'm going to tell you why they're gray undertone. Because contours are meant to create shade. Okay, so we're going to throw some shade, right? We're going to throw some shade on that neck area. And that's why contour colors are better to use than bronzer colors. Because bronzers are meant to bring warmth. Contours are meant to create shade. And they're actually, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to create that shade. Always in the neck area. Always, 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 always. We want to use matte 
never shimmer, never shine, always matte. So that's why contour palettes are really good. But if you don't have one, just try these little things at home, okay? Just try it with a bronzer. Try it, you know, with a little bit of a lighter foundation, all right? Just start out, just try it. And you'll get used to it. It'll be really easy. All right, so I'm going to start out with this deeper shade called Sculpting. All right, I've got my powder brush, and I'm going to go to Sculpted. So what I'm going to do with Sculpted is I'm going to take this bad boy, and I'm going to take it. Now, listen, because everyone, remember, your neck isn't just here. Your neck is all through here, right? So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go just like this down the jawline. Now, you can use creams. I prefer to use powders. I just think powders are easier to blend for me. They're just easier than creams. Uh, it's just preference, but you can go ahead and use a like a foundation shade or a sculpted a deeper shade and do that. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along this jawline. I'm starting back behind this ear like this, and I'm bringing that bad boy forward. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just like this, back behind that ear, just like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take him just like this underneath, do -de -do -de -do -de -do, underneath my chin area just like that. And now what I've done is I've warmed up that area completely. And by warming up that area now, dark things fall back, light things go forward. I've created the look of a more sculpted chin, which means that I can go eat more after this tutorial and have my Carl M&M's. No, I'm only kidding. Okay, so we've caught, we sculpted underneath the chin. It's about two shades lighter than my foundation. So you guys kind of know what colors you are. If you're like a medium skin tone, you want to go like two shades deeper, uh, deeper. So now let's talk about contouring down the neck, okay? We want to keep this neck long and sexy and lean, particularly for this giveaway that my little boy Scott's in the chat, so we can talk about what that is, all right? So... What we're going to do is we're going to take this deeper shade that sculpted just like this, okay? And we're going to bring it down here to a V. And this is going to create the look of a longer neck, all right? So we're going to take it just like this down through here, just like this straight down through here. And this is going to give me that illusion of a longer neck, okay? Just like this down from behind that ear. Remember that neck. It's a funny thing. It isn't just right here. That bad boy goes all the way around. Do you know they're doing contour to the back of your neck when you wear your hair up? Which is pretty cool. I can do a tutorial on that one of these days. All right, so now I've contoured down through here. I've contoured down through here. You can start to see how it's starting to elongate my neck. Now, on an aging neck, different than like a neck that's like really like firm, a firm neck would put light through here because you would want to bring this forward. All right, but on an aging neck like mine, like, you know, a little crinkly neck, you know, that we want to kind of hide, what do we want to do? We want to hide it so we want it to fall back. <laughs> Fall back, baby. Go back. So I'm going to take from underneath my chin area just like this. And I'm going to go just straight down like this. And I'm going to blend it straight down. Because deep fall back, light bring forward. So get back there. Get in the back of the bus, wrinkled old neck. All right. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got this here. And we've got this elongated like this. And we're going to blend. Now another great, 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 great. Hi, Irene. Thank you. Hey, Brenda. Um, okay, all right, now another little thing we're going to do is we're going to take this lighter shade, just like this, and so I have put deep here, deep here, and where this is light, I'm going to bring a little light in that bad boy, and that's going to create even more. And remember why I like this one in this contour palette, this is my, um, um, Cheek to chic. So whatever contour palette you have or just play with it, even if it's a lighter foundation, do this. But like it's a little V just like this. And that really creates a sculpted look. Nuggie's in the house. Nuggie, say hi to everyone. Okay, so now that's what I've done. I've sculpted my neck. It's really that easy. I always, always, always um, will call lipstick. It, my lipstick is Better Than Nude and Buff from the Nude Lip Wardrobe. It's pretty much my signature color. I wear it all the time. It makes my lips look bigger, and I like that. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about what we're going to do. No, I'm not going to take my top off, okay, because trust me, it's <laughs> not that exciting. But I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do when you're wearing, like, a little bit of a lower blouse, right? Do you switch uh, brushes between colors. No, I really don't. I'm lazy. I use the same brush, same one. I really don't. Um, you can if you want to. It's probably better, but I don't particularly, you know what, when you're, you're working with powders, 
What you want to do is when you swirl it, okay, like this, you always tap off the excess, and that way you don't get too much. Um, but I use the same brushes. It's my face, and I'm kind of used to it. But if you have multiple brushes, that's awesome. You can do that instead of your colors getting um, mixed up. Okay, now, what I want to show you is how do we do, how do we get our necks you know, ready to, like, for summer? How do we wear a T-shirt? Like, how do we do that? So let's talk about that. So I'm going to take that same shape, and it's called Sculpted, and I'm going to go, I'm going to find that clavicle right through here using contour colors on the neck and chest to make, yeah, it is, right? It's the best way to go, Jody. right? It's so easy. And once you learn how to do it, like, you'll do it all the time. But what I'm going to do now with the clavicle, and I'm going to make my clavicle pop is for a reason, okay? I'm going to take that shaded color just like this, okay? Hey, Francine! Okay, just like this, and I'm going to put this just right under, keeping it real, Doris. Come on, Scotty, you know I have to keep it real, honey. <laughs> I'm just too old not to. Okay, so I put that right underneath that clavicle. Now, all of a sudden, see how my clavicle's starting to come alive? It's starting to pop. Okay, I'm going to do... Now, what I do, I'll do the other side too. I should have worn like a little bit lower of a top, but then what I'm gonna do is right on top of that clavicle bone, I'm going to bl blush some of this lighter shade right on top. And what I like about it, like I said, this white here, this highlight shade, it doesn't have any shimmer. So I like that because I really think that shimmers can be a little, little tricky, you know, so you have to be careful with them. So now I've dusted that on top, and now all of a sudden you're starting to see how my clavicle is starting to look younger and feminine. And yes, <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to do this side, and I'm going to tell you why, because we got a sneak peek of something amazing. So I'm going to put this bronzer right underneath this clavicle, just like this, right underneath here, just light. You know, it does it just a little bit because what we're doing is we're throwing shade, okay? We are throwing shade on that bad boy. And then ready? I'm going to put this right on my clavicle right here. And I love that Scott's in the chat. I'm going to tell you something about Scott. Scott knows all about makeup. He's an artist. And he worked in the um, cosmetic field for a long time, too. So I want you guys to know that. So if I'm doing something wrong, uh, Scott, let me know. All right. So I've done it. I have a sculpted neck, and let me show you how much better and how much firmer and how much nicer that neck looks. And like I said, this is an area that really is of concern for me. It's an area I'm very insecure about. It's a lot of times I wear a lot of scarves. I wear a lot of turtlenecks. Like I said, I have excess skin from the surgery. So it is an area that really, that makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. So these are things that I do that try to kind of you know, make me feel a little bit better about myself. And um, Scott, you're just saying that because you have to, because you're my boo. Um, so, but now let's talk about the fun stuff. So this way you can get back to watching the Super Bowl. And I hope, um, I don't care who wins really, except for the fact that I know my son is a big Eagles fan. And I know it would make him really happy. He's going on his first vacation on Tuesday, and he hasn't had one in a really, really long time. Him and his wife, Kate, are going. So I hope he goes away really happy instead of being bummed. So I am going to kind of root for the Eagles. So don't hold that against me. All right, let's talk about the Sunday giveaway. Now, you know that I work really hard on these all week. Like, what can I do that's different? What can I do that's really exciting? You know, give you really great tutorials. And plus, always give you a little oomph to take home with you. And this little oomph is bigger than a little oomph. It is the Super Bowl of all Super Bowls, okay, right? It is the best giveaway that I could possibly ever think of or ever do. It is, um, I teamed up with my besties, okay, and these are all some of the things that I love throughout, I, I just love them. All right, so first of all, let's start with me and let's get me out of the way, all right? You will win $1,000 to use on doll10.com, right? $1,000 and you can fill up your train cases and do whatever. You don't have to use all of the stuff all at once. When new things launches, you can get them. So that you'll get $1,000 worth of um, um, shopping dollars for doll 10. The second thing, okay, you ready? The second thing that you're gonna get is $1,000 to Dr. Dinesh's site, okay? So Dr. Dinesh has teamed up with me, so now you can get her exfoliating cream and <laughs> 
please, with that $1,000 when you win, get the MD33 Neck Cream because I swear by it. And a lot of people on this chat do too. So um, she has amazing skincare products and she has those dry oils and all of that stuff. So you will love that. So $1,000 with me, $1,000 with Dr. Dines, and now wait for it. Okay. Now, once I have this neck all sexy and pretty, right? I've got it all massaged in, I'm doing my exercises, I'm exfoliating, I'm contouring, and all that. What better to show off this neck, okay? What better than maybe this from Jai Jewelry? <laughs> what better to show off the neck than the chance to win this amazing necklace. Okay, so my boy Scott and I were talking and we, we chat all the time and I said to him, I said, oh yeah, it's Steve, because what are you doing for Super Bowl? And I said, well really I get on my chats on Sunday night at eight o'clock and that's something that I love to do and I look forward to, right? And he's, I said, yeah, I'm gonna do one on the neck and all this other stuff. And he said, well what better to end the night and the neck with an amazing croco embossed necklace from me. So I am so excited to tell you that one of you will win this most gorgeous, unbelievable necklace from J Jewelry, and here it is. It is a thousand dollar necklace, and I don't wanna give it up. <laughs> I, would, I can't enter my own giveaway, but I will tell you that it is probably one of the most beautiful pieces of jewelry that I've seen. The way it goes around the neck, it's gorgeous. So, there you have it. This is what the giveaway is for Sunday night. So I've pinned it to the top of my Facebook page, How You Enter. It's also on the Instagram page. So you'll be able to go ahead, it's there. You don't have to wait, it's there. And um, please go ahead and enter. And um, I'm so excited for whomever wins this amazing giveaway. Because quite honestly, I don't know how I'm going to top this one unless Scott wants to give away my little baby olive, which I won't let him. So um, anyway, I love you guys. Go watch the rest of the Super Bowl. You are amazing. Um, I had such a great chat with you. You know I look forward to talking to all of you guys on Sunday night. So have an amazing, amazing, amazing week. And I will chat with you throughout the week. And um, okay, I have to say it. Go Eagles.